Green. Got the, he's got the red ankle band. McLaughlin does. Yes, yes. And, uh, had an interesting coach or a conversation with his coach, Rod Siebert. Rod was uh, just got that, you know, five or six years ago, had seven guys out for the program. Now they got a room full now and putting uh, wrestlers back out there on the mat and competitive. And so they were real excited when their sophomore, McLaughlin, uh, who's a, one heck of an athlete. I tell you what, he's an all-conference uh, football player and got pretty good skills. Morning, Green! You gotta stay in there. Got him in the state finals here, so it's just an uh, overall turnaround in that program, and uh, he's pretty excited about it, and we should be too. Schumacher was a state qualifier last year, has not placed in McLaughlin, a sophomore. This is his first time to Des Moines at Beth's Auditorium here for the state championships, and he's in the finals. Not a bad debut. <laughs> These two athletes are just going ear to ear. And it's pretty tough to get anything done when you're in that position because you, uh, your opponent feels everything you're about to do. He can feel it side of his head. He can feel it top of the shoulder. It's just like two uh, buck deer with their horns locked up there. Ram Nobody's tough. Getting, yeah. You gotta break yourself free from that position. There, that's a good attempt right there. And then Whoa. Schumacher comes right into a double leg after McLaughlin tries to stamp Whoa. him down. Goes to his back, and he's going to get back points off this. That's awful tight. Right there wow. at the edge of the mat. Close. Three, Three points. points 5-0 inside 10 seconds uh, of, the, of the period. Whew. And what McLaughlin did, he hit the Green snap first, down there. Red, here, bottom. And uh, yeah, Schumacher goes right to a half Nelson after he gets uh, McLaughlin down off of the double leg tackle. That whole sequence was set up by a uh, snap down attempt by McLaughlin where Schumacher just followed it through with a double leg, switched to a half and got the big five point move. Schumacher from Harlan now on top, ahead 5-0 and riding in uh, 1A and in your screen at the top corner, Blake Hoglin from Mount Air going up against Mark Mueller undefeated, 49-0 from Postville. Ranked second nationally in the nation, one, er, ranked second nationally two, in his weight. One, Woo. Two, right back three, in on a leg two, shot, four, right back onto a half Nelson type situation. Now he switches to a bar arm. He's going to walk around the head, trying to perhaps lock up a figure four, using his trying to get that cast that right knee across McLaughlin's uh, head. Successful at getting around, he might have a real good chance of uh, pinning him here. And not a bad ride if he uh, settles in. Oh yeah, this is great. I mean, for, for, for Schumacher, he's settling back in. He's really making uh, McLaughlin work hard in the underneath position. Not to mention, he's gonna walk away with another three uh, points, so he's gonna be up 10 to one. This is where you don't wanna get over aggressive and lose that with that kind of lead in the yeah. state finals. You're just looking for him to settle back. He's settling back, I mean, move to his left. The screen's left right here, and then maybe get his head up and his hips down, and that's going to put more weight on McLaughlin's shoulders. And he's just going to hang back in here. He's got, I think he's real comfortable here just letting the clock run down. There, now he's in a position he wants to get. He's got to get his head up, as he does. Oh, he got the arm out, um, and he's going to... McLaughlin uh, comes off his back. End of the period, though. Like we pointed out, it was a good ride, and he's going to end up 10 to 1 lead at the end of the second period, going into the final. Great lead. choice. Wow, good it's choice. just a two moves. Here it is. McLaughlin tries the big move here, and, and uh, he stayed with it, and then basically he stepped into just a single leg, trying to get. It looked like McLaughlin was trying to set up a throw off of that head and arm. So. Two situations here in about 10 seconds of wrestling, it resulted in the, the what effective was a 10 points. In 3A, Phil Porter from Linmar is trailing Dan Zapita from Des Moines Lincoln. 2-0 in the third period. Schumacher right back in on a shot. Laughlin's left leg. And uh just kind of milking it out here. Doesn't look like he really wanted to finish that real strong. 
Mueller from Postville in 1A is leading 3 to 2. A minute gone in the second period over Hogland from Mount Air. And Mueller is, uh, uh, actually Mueller, I think he's verbally committed to go to the University of yes. Iowa. Yep. You see these two wrestlers here, Schumacher and uh, uh, Laughlin. Again, back to that position they started the meet in, the match in, ear to ear. Can't really get much clearance. Real difficult. You gotta try to clear your head out of there. You gotta get a shot off. And just as off the Laughlin stepped out of it, Schumacher comes right back into the shot. There's Don Cox, Harlan's coach. Don's been pretty well traveled as a coach. He was at Clarinda, also at uh, Emmitsburg, and then settled in Harlem. So 15 seconds left in this period. It's been all Schumacher. And he just gets the duck under or go behind type technique, and he's gonna win. There it is. Schumacher from Harlan, state champion, wins it. Say, go this way. But McLaughlin, only a sophomore, will be back, I'm sure. Let's go to 1A where uh, Moeller from uh, Postville, I stand corrected on the uh, pronunci pronunciation. Mark Moeller from Postville trying to go 50-0 and, and win a uh, state championship. As I said, he's ranked second in the nation in his weight class. Well, he's got that uh, uh, almost a college-type build already. <laughs> this looks uh, That looks pretty uh, pretty natural, Ooh. too. But Good uh, counter uh, action by uh, Hoglin there from Mount Air. It's one of those guys that your strength coach likes to have in the room. To show the other guys it does yeah. work. Yeah. I get the poster <laughs> child. <laughs> Moeller just likes to just go straight forward into his opponents. I mean, he's normally the uh, shorter opponent. He just mark, likes to mark straight in. You just see him get going right off the whistle. There's a nice single leg attempt. Actually, single leg, head to the outside single, snatch single. Makes the score seven to two. Minute 13 left in this uh, match. Looks like we have a little injury time. We have a little bit of a, uh, looks like blood or when this happens, they usually stop the match, get it cleaned up. In just one week, Iowa Public Television begins festival. 16 days of great programs and studio guests. Barbara Scher will join us with insight and advice on creating your second life after 40. Enjoy this inspiring festival special Sunday, March 3rd at 5.15. Hey, I, you know, I'm enjoying my second life then <laughs> right now, that's for sure. And, and, it, and it, gets, it gets good there, Jim. Broadcasting wrestling is kind of our second life, so it's, that's always fun. Hoglin has been uh, penalized uh, twice for uh, uh, stalling, and uh, so a minute 70, he's got to watch that uh, against Moeller's attack. Well, we'll see here. He's down by four points with a minute left, and he's going to try to do something that where he gets offensive and tries to uh, just execute a technique to score. You know, you, you want to go down with your best stuff, not just warding off your opponent's shots the whole time. But wrestling a guy of this caliber, Muller, you just... He's just so physical out there. He comes forward. He's going to be a good addition to a college wrestling room. Get the feeling. Just... Goes straight forward all the time. He, and knows how to finish those techniques. Speaking about additions to the wrestling room, Joe Gibbons will uh, be standing by with the Paulson twins um, after uh, the award ceremony. And uh, as you said, Jim, there'll be nice additions to the wrestling room for the Iowa State Cyclones. Yeah. 12-timers talking to uh, a two and a three-timer.
There's a double underhook by uh, Moeller, and just, he just keeps on marching forward here. He goes forward, goes forward, goes forward. Like he's a 12-time roommate. Joe, is, Joe, he won uh, four freestyle titles and Greco titles. That's why we just call him that. That's, oh, that's, just that's his nickname, nickname. Yeah. the old 12-timer. That's handle. good. I'm glad yeah. you explained that yeah. to me. So. He's taking a bow over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 12-timer. Four to no, 12 to 4 here. Speaking of 12s, Moeller out ahead and looking to uh, win it again for Postville. But I'm sure those Paulson boys won a few freestyle the Greco titles too, so they're not out. Uh, they probably got you whooped, Joe. <laughs> Here's Moeller. He just catches it on that chin there. And, yeah. And when you're, when you're that much shorter than your opponent, he, he's, he basically drops and then he comes back up into him. And you're reacting to the drop, so you're coming down while your molar's coming up. And it's not good for the uh, orthodontics. Well, Moeller's just the type of wrestler that just wears you down, wears you down, and he hustles back to the center of the mat. For one more second, and then a... Another state title. <laughs> Mark Moeller, head of Iowa next year. From Postville, a state champion. Acted like a guy like he expected to win. He acted, yeah. you know, just not as much uh, enthusiasm that second time around. But Let's go to the awards. Well, Tim, you saw Mark Mueller and what he did in decisioning Blake Hogan of Mount Air. I do just say that before this match tonight, Mark Mueller told us that his style was to constantly be on the move. And in doing that, you saw that aggressive style led to all those stalling calls and just completely intimidated and overwhelmed Blake Hickland, Mark Mueller, the champion of the 171 in class single A. More award. Let's go to the award stand. Ladies and gentlemen, we direct your attention to the award stand area at the east end of the auditorium. Presenting the Class 1A 171-pound awards, Coach Mike Adams, Assistant Coach of Postville. Sixth place, Johnny Walls, Starmont. Fifth place, Scott Rollison, Garner Hayfield. Fourth place, Seamus Smith, Coon Rapids Baird. Third place, Kyle Norman, Central Decatur Leon. Runner-up, Brent Blake Hoglin, Mount Air. And the Class 1A 171-pound champion from Postville, Mark Mueller. Let's go to Dean. Well, Tim, you saw the end of the match, and you saw Tyler Babb. Of Presenting the Class 2A 171-pound awards, Coach Kurt Blatt of Harlan. Sixth place, Eric Pedretti, Cresco Crestwood. Fifth place, Tanner Watnam, Humble. Fourth place, Tracy Kleckner, Osage. Third place, Chris Loudon, Preston. Runner-up, Jordan McLaughlin, Belmont Clemmy. And the Class 2A 171-pound champion from Harlan, Brent Schumacher. Joe, what do you have for us? Class 3A at 189 pounds is Jeff Butcher of Sioux City East going up get flip. Uh, I don't know the technical the terms, but it was there's an athlete. I, I'll give that a 10. <laughs> Coach Mike McGivern of Des Moines Lincoln. Sixth place, Steve Wonderland, Ankeny. Fifth place, Andrew Anderson, Sioux City East. Fourth place, David Hessel, Pleasant Valley. Third place, Justin Jordan, Iowa City City High. Runner-up, Phil Porter, Linmar Marion. And a Class 3A 171-pound champion from Des Moines, Lincoln, Dan Zapita. Dean? Uh, this is Bob Kenny, who coaches the winning 